Oh, here we go. <laughs> I am being myself, which I mean, no makeup, all natural. I know I got a bond on my head. Excuse me. I don't know who need to hear this, but I woke up with this feeling that a message or something I'm about to say might touch a few hearts, even might save a life. If you're in a toxic relationship, try to figure out a way to get out of it. Walk away from it all. Doesn't matter if you're in, um, say, now marriage is, is different. If there's no improvement, well, matter of fact, that's this regard that any type of monogamous relationship and it's toxic, walk away. There will be no arguing, no fighting, no, you know, physically fighting. Figure out the smart way to walk away from it all. Know if you have kids, you don't want your kids to see that. They'll grow up doing the same thing or whatever. Even, okay, even, okay, say... You saying to yourself, well, I have invested in this house, uh, everything in it, and walk away. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You will gain all that materialistic things back, but you only get one life. You only get one life. And is it it's better to save your life and if you have children, your children's lives. That's the most important thing. And just like some people been in a, say, you, you're in a relationship where you're getting beat on. You're like, oh, I know where to go. Let me tell you something. Before you walk away, pray first. I know I don't want to be a, so religious, too religious on here. But mm, think of, um, excuse me, think of what you gain. And even more, when you do that, you walk away from it all. Because believe you me, I did it. I had to. Because in reality, my life is going to end. It, it was, somebody was going to take my life. And my, my life is far too valuable for someone else to take it on because they 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 had the right to beat on me or put their hands on me and and go as far as take my life no and for the ones that's going through deep depression I've been there too I've been there too you have so much to give to this world you have a gift you have talent and you have people that really love you. You might feel nobody loves you. You might feel like an outcast. You might, you know, feel like you don't, you don't have nowhere in the world that you fit in or you belong. But you have a purpose. You were created. Your, our Father created you for a purpose. And you must find that purpose in this world. 
Only you can do that, but you do have people that love you. So before you even attempt to put that needle in your arm, before you smoke some poison, as I want to call it, before you take that drink, and knowing that's, you know, what it costs in your life, before you do all of that, just know there's people out here that love you. And I'm not doing this video just because, you know, I'm ranting. Like I said, I've been there. I try to commit suicide twice. I, you know, I was, you know, I was at death's door. And there's two people who saved me. It's our Heavenly Father and my daughter. I had so much to live for. I had a purpose. I wasn't put here on this earth for no reason, just to take up space, just to take up air. And to find my calling. I'm not no life coach. I'm, I'm, I'm an imperfect human being just like you. But just know, you have people that care, and I'm one of those people that care. So much love. Just think about what I'm saying.